What is going on guys? Today we are looking at my man Perlo90. It is his mid version. He has got a base of 88 and a prime of 92. In terms of kind of the versions, the base is coming in at just 400 and this card is coming in at just shy of 600k. So if I can actually sell him for that, we've made some heavy profit on Perlo. Very, very happy to get him on bid. And literally, I saw him kind of go in and I just put one bid on managed to get him so i'm very very happy with that he is a five star skiller with the four star weak foot right footed five foot ten with flair as his only trait and the stats are going to be an interesting one this year because i think passing is definitely something that you really need to consider in this game i feel like the all-round players people with high stats in every field are going to be the ones that do incredible but passing and dribbling definitely can get you by. Obviously, in terms of chemistry styles, you've got two real options. You've either got the Hunter or you've got the Shadow. Obviously, that will get his pace up regardless. But then it kind of gives you that element of, do you want him to kind of be more box-to-box -box if he can? Or at least somebody who's going to travel with the ball? Or do you want him to just be an out-and-out -out attacker? Hunter, which is what this guy's put him on, is 85 pace, 85 shooting. Turn him into a 91-rated cam. Or you go with a Shadow, which will make him a 90 rated CM or an 84 CDM with, again, 85 pace and 76 defending. I'm going to keep the Hunter on to start with because I feel like he's going to be one of more of my attacking players in that central midfield rather than kind of defensive. But I want to see what it's like with defending only being 68 can he still win the ball back or is he going to be that outlet player that literally is just pass the ball and then we're going to move it on because passing wise i don't think you can get much better for perlo dribbling again you look at it fantastic reactions ball controls up there composure is very nice and agility is very decent um I feel like he could be quite good. Last year, obviously, he didn't really get a say. Um, I just don't think pace had it in him. Um, whereas this year, I think you could definitely get away with lower pace, maybe towards kind of like the mid of the game. That's when you're going to see the all-round players doing much, much better. The five-star, five-star with 80s across the board. Very much like a, I think it's a Goretzka this year, who has got some very, very well-rounded stats. And that is why he is absolutely phenomenal. So let's jump into Perlo and see if he's worth just shy of 600,000 coins. Into Perlo straight away. The five star, five star, uh, the five star skills is gonna be fantastic. Look at that. One minute in is absolutely stunning. One pass and he's managed to find Benzema straight through. Cannot argue with that one bit. And like I say, the passing is going to be the one that really kind of decides this card. Obviously as well, having the five star skills is just going to add that dribbling level. Look at that. The passing, you can definitely tell, is absolutely exquisite. We're going to find Benzema in again. He's going to roll it past the keeper and it's 2-0 in a matter of four minutes. So far, so good for him. Back into Perlo. Can we see that ball there? Oh, Benzema's taking it instead. Let's find that ball over the top. Is, is Emil, did that have some hang time to it? I really didn't think that that was going to make it. These lines on the pitch are woeful. Why on earth you'd have them like this? I do not know, but definitely looks awful. We're going to find Perlo on the ball again. He's just so calm and collective on the ball as well. The dribbling is very, very precise, and you don't normally see that with somebody like him. Definitely, you can tell the, the control on him is very, very elite level. And like I say, 600k, I was kind of expecting at least something from him. I'm kind of just finding my feet with him because he is a very specific style of play as well. It's not like... It's, he's not like every single player. It's very much a, a kind of a Xavi, um, obviously a Lampard, someone like that. Polo's going to find it into Sancho, though. Keeper's completely off his line, and he's just managed to just tap it in. Another assist from Polo, and again, like I say, he is going to be somewhat... I don't think he's going to be incredibly meta, but I do think he's going to have a little bit more input on the game than he did last year. I think last year they literally was put on the bench instantly, whereas I think this year you've almost not necessarily got a massive place for him, but I suppose you can. Has he got that? Oh my god, literally. And again, try it again, you never know. With finesses being broken as well, the kind of calm, collective sort of shooting, something with very, very good control is always going to be completely OP at the moment. Obviously, if they do change it, that's when you've got the problem. Perlo again is going to just see it through. He's going to find a ball over wide. It's nice to go back into that middle. We're seeing Perlo wanted again. He's going to just kind of stand there. We're going to go 1-2 with him. 
Benzema is going to go with the finesse again, and that one was a little bit poor. Probably should have took a touch forward to maybe get the ball out of our feet. That just that little bit more there. Perlo with a tackle. You'd love to see it. One more into Perlo. What we're going to find is going to bring his defender across. He's going to keep bringing him. Far post, maybe a little overhead. Uh, we tried something spectacular. The chest, the little touch. I wanted that. I wanted that flick to then really do something with him. And again, Perlo storming in. Finds the finesse and Pickford again. Need a little bit more power on it. But in terms of kind of like the creativity play or creative play, he is the man. Oh, and Perlo sees in his second in the 90th as well. Oh, Herrera watching his man. He's got Dumfries coming on the wing. It's poor. Ah, oh, there it is. Good tackle from Tyranny and sees it. Semi, semi out. half ass clearance, but he's come back in. Herrera's got a step. Does enough. Comes back, and that's poor. And away. Love it. Half away, and now it's away. Perlo's going to find a little slot in for Hazard, who doesn't manage to do anything. Oh, Perlo. Perlo's going to see it down the wing. Get a little fizz in. Oh, Hazard does try and take it, but unfortunately, St. Just, his pace is going to just be there. Perlo with an interception. Love to see it. Doesn't manage to keep it, but gets the interception nonetheless. We're seeing, oh, we took one step too far. Oh, lovely turn from him. Looking for that ball off him, but unfortunately, no one has it. Find Perlo in the middle? No. We're just going to get some just, just absolute mauling players at the moment. So going into the overall for Perlo, honestly, pleasant surprise. I thought he was going to be not necessarily uh, kind of like incredible, but then I also didn't think he'd be awful. His passing is absolutely exquisite. The dribbling was really something that took me by surprise, and not necessarily because we look at it and it's 90, and I think, okay, it's got to either be insane or it's just complete animation mockery. But he's actually very quick at turning. The five-star skills obviously helps with that, but then also the agility is quite nice, and everything about his dribbling, other than maybe the balance, which is a half and half, I think is incredible. Passing, like I say, I think you don't... You don't need to explain that 93 passing on a 90 rated card and his name is Perlo isn't going to be anything other than incredible. Very, very nice indeed. In terms of kind of defending, maybe interceptions at best sometimes, but in terms of tackling, it's pretty much non-existent. So if you did want that, then you're definitely going to have to go with the shadow just because you just get that big boost of a plus 10 and 15 on his tackling. Whereas obviously we went with the hunter, which is more kind of shooting base. And that's where the kind of finesses outside of the box came from. A lot of them having some very clear chances there. So you do enough of them and it's going to go in at some point. Very calm, very collective. His ball control is just so, so good. He is a very good player. The question is, is he worth almost 600k and i think at this point in the game i probably wouldn't be buying him unless he is my sort of icon for instance ronaldinho rooney they're the two that personally i really want to get but obviously i personally want to get them untradeable rather than actually spending the coins and leave him there because that's almost two mil of players which eventually i need to increase and increase so for me i think polo is a great if you're italian and that is what you kind of want in your team he is coming in relatively cheaper if you really want to go for kind of a less pacer version then obviously his base is just as good as that um it's just a minus five on its pace which again makes some difference but will it make the entire difference of a five and that's it as long as you've got the shadow or hunter i think that card will do exactly as, as well as really you've got the pace um the passing he's going to be a good card overall for this perlo though i'd have to come in and I'd, i think if it wasn't for the dribbling and the passing that just completely blew it for me i'm gonna have to give him like a solid 8.7 i think he was a wonderful center mid he really got up and down the pitch mainly more the attacking which was kind of expecting with the hunter on but most definitely a very very good player to play in this game especially this early on so if they do release um kind of like a base or mid icon pack which normally they do i don't know uh kind of like what are the dates but i know it weren't 
it won incredibly far into the game. It may have been a month or two, but I think that is definitely going to come again. And it's going to be incredible if you do get Perlo. But there's so many other options that you can get with the likes of, like I said in the video, Xavi, very similar. Lampard and Gerrard, again, a little bit different in terms of play styles, but very similar. They're not necessarily fast. They've got okay defending. Physicality should be decent. And then maybe have more shooting than defending. But they're going to be very, very similar in that sort of aspect. So I cannot wait to try them out as well. Obviously Obviously, the big bonus for Perlo for me is that five-star skills. It just adds a new layer of what you can actually do against your opponent, especially when you're kind of, say, if you're up this here level and you're playing down below, these eventually are going to rise up until a certain rank. There's not going to keep going up because obviously then you need to know mechanics, when to move, when to breathe, when to shoot, how to shoot. That is kind of like all in a pro's just natural head. So that is just incredible anyway. So hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.